first slip video, uh, Destiny's Divide. I've been waiting for this game for like, not that long, six weeks, but still, I was excited for it and it felt a lot longer. Um, it's a card game that has my interest, it looks pretty. Bear in mind, it is only the alpha week, so read this. <laughs> Please understand that you're playing. Yeah, basically, it's an alpha and things are going to break. But I think it's a good time to see what is what. I th think we have a bunch of free cards, if not all of them. And uh, we can make decks with whatever we want. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we have access to every card for the alpha, which is going to be cool to look at all of them. But for now, yeah, exit without saving. We're just going to try the tutorial and see how the game works. So let's go. Play the tutorial. Oh. I have not done a single thing in this game yet, so. Oh, the default AI is also an alpha player. Damn. <laughs> Welcome to the City of the Gods. Destiny's Divided turn based game. You're only able to play cards and do actions on your turn, so no, like, responses. Fair enough. Each player is represented by a hero. Your main objective is to defeat your opponent by lowering their health to zero. You can do that by either attacking them with beings, spells, or abilities. Let's get started. Okay. It's a very pretty game. Your main resource is energy. Players will start with zero energy, but gain one in okay until they reach eight. Eight. Okay. To play cards, you have to spend your energy. The card's energy cost is shown in the top left corner. Oh, off the card, right? Yeah. Drag on the board, sure. Oh. Okay. Let us begin. Okay. Beings normally can't attack on the first turn. Allow them to attack immediately. Okay. Try attacking the opponent with less spell if kicking card. First, let's have actually a look at the card. Like, that's so cool looking. Okay, I love animated cards. Aerial, so flying, fatal, damage dealt by disabilities. Okay, so deadly, speed, that's a lot of effects. When it activated, it deals two damage to any target in the game. Okay. When this card is played, it refreshes your hero's activated ability. Oh. That sounds cool. Anyway, let's beat his face in. Perfect. Some beings possess activated abilities. Alex is staying. Okay. Activated abilities can be used immediately and do not need to wait a turn to be used. They can be used once on each of your turns. Okay. Once a turn. Right click him. Okay. You have attacked. Use your beings abilities and spend your energy to the energy to use your beings again you'll need to wait till your next turn let's enter yep got it all cards have abilities some offensive some offensive okay so this is like a taunt card or something coming up now continue your opponent has played Ozul Golem of the South this being has guard it prevents you from attacking their hero okay yep you will need to use other cards to dispatch Ozul Okay, cast a spell by dragging the destruction card on the board, an arrow will appear. Select Ozil as your target and release most one to confirm, okay. Destroy target being- okay, instantly, if anyone's watching this, that uh, has to do with the gate in the game, this is, this is hard to read. It's very white against white. Destroy or tar- destroy target being in the game or on the shared board. Alright, so, destroy that. Great, the golem has been destroyed. One of the strongest tools at your disposal is your hero power. You can use it once per game, so use it wisely. One of the strongest tools at your disposal is your hero. Yeah, yeah, okay. Your hero power. I don't know why that took so long to register. I was like, your hero, matter, god of power's ability will double any being's power. Oh. Use the power on my creature and double its power before attacking. Is power the attack damage, right? It's not everything, like, I don't know, we'll see now. 
this. There we go. Yeah, it's just the attack. Okay. Attack your opponent with the improved LS. Don't forget to use LS ability by breaking. Yep. Feel the wrath of the canvas. Die. And this is a is a strong guy. Your opponent is low on health. They will try to use defensive tools to survive. Okay. The last stand is an aura. Aura is a very powerful card, but it will fade over time. This aura is a decay time of three, which means it'll last for three turns, okay? The last stand prevents any beings from attacking their hero for three turns. Whoa. You will have to find another way to victory. The Destinies of Vite Arena consists of three main sections. The board, the shared board, and the heroic being. This is your heroic being. You will play this card at any time when you have enough energy. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Heroic being is a being card you choose when making a deck. This card will be revealed to your opponent at all times. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. It's kind of cool. Yes, the shared board. In the shared board, there are two cards from your deck and two from your opponent's deck. All cards can be played at any time by both players. Which cards go into the shared board is selected in the deck building process, but choose wisely as your opponent can use your own cards against you. I find this really interesting. I have to look at all the cards in the game to really get a proper understanding of it though, but yeah. It does sound interesting. But choose wisely as your opponent. Yep, yep. Use tools available to you to win this game. Okay. What do you do? At this game, when you play a card, you may deal 2 damage to an active target. Nope. Spell, deal 3 damage to any active target. Draw a card. Nope. Deal. Deal 5 damage to any active target or a target in the share board. When activated, it deals 2 damage to any target in the game. Wait, these are all just done. Is this just stop attacking? Can I use spells on it? This card is immune to first. Beings can't attack you. Oh, so I can just straight up destroy him. Okay. Which else has he got? Three. Eh. Where's the one for five? That's five. Alright. Oh. Well, GG. <laughs> AI. That's a pretty screen. <laughs> that really lets you know, like, hey, happy, you win. All these coins and all, I don't know what they're for, but, yep, exit the main menu, obviously for buying packs or something, but yeah. Okay, so that's the, the tutorial, get the general gist of it. Uh, I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to try each of the basic decks here first, before I bother making a deck, get a grasp of, you know, some of the basics, um, yeah, and see how it goes. So, for this video, I'm just going to use this Magician Taxes deck, but I want to have a little quick little glimpse in it. Am I able to check it? Am I not able to look at the deck? Right click? Oh, I can right click and edit. Uh, so first of all, 44, 45 cards in the deck, okay. That's, that's an okay amount, yeah. Four shared board. It's just a hero being okay. Material. Do I click on it, see what they do. Reveal all hidden and burrowed beings. They can't burrow again until your next turn. Draw a card. Okay. Burrowed is like just a stealth, is it? I'm hoping. Just seeing what the general team of the deck is. Magician and Jindai draw a card. Okay, lots of drawing so far. Push your opponent to less energy next turn. Your opponent can't play cards from a shared board next turn. Three mana to deny two mana. It's a bit weird. Uh, Ignis the Fireborn. When Ignis the Fireborn enters a game, when you play a card, you may deal two damage to any active target. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm, not, I'm just gonna have to play to learn. So let's do that. Exit without saving. Which is exit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play. Um, I'll see you guys when I find a game. Oh, yeah, and before we actually 
get into the game here. There's one thing I forgot to mention, a cool feature in the game that caught my attention. Um, when the game comes out, you're going to be able to trade cards, which is nice. I haven't seen a game do that in so long, or I haven't played a game and did that in a very long time. So that's going to be cool when it comes out. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyways, see you when I play my first game. Wasn't a long wait at all. Uh, <laughs> Orgasmian. I think there has been an alpha before this, so some people know what they're doing, but I do not. You lost the tank house. Okay. Cool. Definitely should have read the card, my heroic being card, to learn. It's always tricky starting a game for the first time, not just because I don't know what my own cards do, but I have no idea what I'm playing around or looking out for. Which is half the fun. I go first. Okay, ban one of your opponent's shared cards. When the ripple in time enters the game. So this is an aggro deck and he's trying to make sure I don't have loads of mana. As long as he can I'm going to ban that, that sounds annoying. <laughs> I don't know if it helps me or not, but I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Incinerate, deal fun with Okay. Well, Nemesis. Is active, set the base power and defense of all their beings to four. Okay. Send back one of the. I uh, send them both back, they're quite, quite expensive. Eh, okay, that'll do, I think. He's very. King Cloud's kind of sort of like global spells. Right, what's my guy do here? When next all Master Dragons enter the game, you may destroy up to two tribal. Tree active enemy beings? What does that mean? What's the tribal tree? I don't know. Anyway, when Vision of Nin dies, draw one card. Yep. Well met. It has tribal two under it. What is this? And why are you cheap now? Oh, the next card you play, it says it right there. The next card you play costs one less energy. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Does that include next turn, though? So I can clear anything he has? <laughs> right, resurrect a being. The first orc you play on each turn costs one less. Okay. Can we attack later beings with aerial? Right. At the end of your turn, create a 1 2 mage. Just play a couple of these. They can't be killed too easy. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just go with him. Some curve. What? <laughs> I'm busy. I'm sure it again dies. So this is more of a ramp card. And it can cycle. Okay. Okay, I got you. It has Chi at the bottom here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Lots of learning to do, that's for sure. <laughs> right, so he has no abilities, but so... They're the same picture, but they're different. Gotcha. He's a different color. <laughs> I understand. Steady. We won't Do two damage to any target to game. Sad face. How? How do you overcome my race? Take my energy. Why is he gaining attack? Okay. Um. Take like three mana now. Five, 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 one more. So we can play this, and then we can still play something else here.
kind of want to just get rid of this. Because it's only going to get stronger, and I don't know if I've any. I don't know if I've cards that can deal with it. When Ignis the Fireborn enters the game, and when you play a card, you may deal two damage to any active target. Still want to know what this tribal word means. Don't care about those just yet, because can't play them. Alright, just gonna have to get rid of that. Attack face, because he'll have to clear that, otherwise, I don't know, there's no point in me attacking into that, I don't think, just yet. Especially when this can deal with it. <laughs> in a couple turns. What does this do? Oh, he, can, he has that sting ability. Okay. As long as you control another orc, or at least three other beings, East Orc Marauder gains plus one and plus two, and has speed. Okay. <laughs> Guess who's going to lose this game? He has taunt, right? Card, okay. I mean, his card dies, he has damage to all enemy, enemy beings. Oh. Oh. Oh no. This being is immune to the first damage it receives. That's also a no no. What do you do? When River Golem burrows, you gain. Cheat one. Okay, that's the, the ramping. When it unburrows, your opponent has one less energy on their next turn. And how do I burrow it? Well, burrow it can't attack or be So, throw this guy down, make him cheaper, that'll leave me with 3 mana then for, for this, I suppose. That's about all I can do, really, that sting is a problem, I need to get rid of that next turn. At least this will cycle itself. Use Burrow. And throw this down. What? I'm busy. And just end my turn. There's not much I can do here. That's yeah, the effects in this game are really nice. I like it. Five five war okay. That's that guy. Well orcs are eating. How? How did you overcome my research? It's my energy. You're so one of the fallen beings. While you control three or more beings and beings plus two. A minus two to wolf. Uh, two one one spirit mages. Um, I have no idea what a spirit mage is. Three one shadow away hidden. This being cannot be targeted by spells, beings, and their abilities. This effect lasts until the being attacks. But it's a minus three. One. So that's confusing. I don't know what a shadow is. Right now, the best we can do is just clear this, and then he's gonna kill me there. Well, mess. Try him down. Hit that. <laughs> the dragon flame burns within me. Oh, he can't. Taunt doesn't work. Okay. Oh, Taunt stops that as well. Oh. I thought it was just attacks. Also abilities, okay. And I haven't even looked at my own ability. Each opponent has four less energies in their next turn. The first, each opponent has four less energy to use on their next turn. The first monster you play on each turn costs one less. I do apologize, but I'm going That'll to do. Your energy now. 
so you can't get too snowbally on me, but I'm gonna lose anyway. Because <laughs> this is going awful. <laughs> well, it's to be expected when you have no idea what to do, what you're doing. Return three cards to your deck and draw one. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. What's he doing to me? Oh. <laughs> For the warlord. Don't let the flame die out. Here, take the king. Your king. So it's not cool. Kings. Yeah, okay. So. Deal five blood. damage to any active target. Okay, that one again. We got a bird. Once you, we need one more turn before we can start playing these big things. What's his stuff do? Clear skies, the last wish. At the start of your turn, choose one. Beings you control gain a plus two plus two buff. Your hero's ability summon a full four ghost. Okay. When Oxon the Necromancer enters a game, summon a tree tree magician with guard. Who is Oxon the Necromancer? What? <laughs> what? The Black Magician. Destroy them. Okay. I like the Devourer ability, but it ain't gonna help here. He's just gonna wipe it. Mm. Incinerate for tree. That leaves us with tree. So, get rid of that. Let's see what this sh stuff is. I mean, he has to trade. I don't know. Let's see how that goes. What is. Burrow being mage, they have absolutely no ability. Okay. Just wanted to know. Gonna have to play it out through all of, of the things and see what they do. <laughs> I'm getting whooped. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's bleeding. Oh, oh God! Can't pause, can So, sorry, I was just reading all of the bits there. When Solisjan enters the game, opponents cannot use their hero ability and have one less energy used on their next turn. Okay. See, I can see denying mana is obviously really strong, but it's no good to me when I don't know what I'm trying to prevent them from playing. So this is this is definitely a deck for when I know more about the game. Uh, the start of your opponent's next turn, they choose one, they have two less energy t to use this to- Oh, that card. Uh, no, I don't like that. <sighs> so I'm a tree tree magician with guard. Hmm. King Silas Manticore cannot be destroyed by global spells. It's eight mana. Much. Six, at the start of your turn, choose one. Beings you control again, a buff. Refresh. Let's refresh. Or refresh your hero's ability, right? Summon a uh, 4 4 ghost with air island speed. Eh. I mean. Bit of speed sounds a lot more useful to me than. But if I play that, I pretty much die, right? Although I do, I die anyway. 
without guard or anything, I just die, right? Seven, five, twelve. Yeah, I die. I'm dead. Dead, he dead. It's just playing down. Oh, so he's. So he's Uxon the Necromancer? Okay, well, they need to change the typo there. Okay. And I can unburrow this yet? No. I end my life. My turn ended because I'm busy trying to understand what just happened. So I do have the taunt now. Because he is the card that's describing. Gotcha. Okay. I understand. I should have figured that out from the beginning, that's just a... Uh, wrongly typed name. Just a... Magician. Gone from these lands. Yeah. I see, five, seven, yeah, I'm still dead. Do it. End me. Now you're just being rude. Okay. <laughs> oh well, GG. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so... Yep, it's expected. Winning matches in normal... Wait, what? Okay, so that's just gonna happen every time, I'm assuming. Exit menu. Well, that's the first look at this, guys. So I'm gonna off camera now have a look at like all of the cards see what what is what and maybe play a couple of games to learn what the hell I'm doing and yeah I'll probably play with one of these other decks like Wolf Aggro Burn it sounds a lot more <clears throat> basic and easy to use for someone who's new so I will I'll will probably give that one a try in the next video anyway guys this game definitely looks fun gonna be playing it a bit I will see you guys next time bye 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 bye